Let's now explore the account section of M7 metric setting. This is where you can organize and track your various trading accounts. To access the account section, head over to settings and click on account. Here, you have the flexibility to set up different trading accounts for your trading journal. Think of each account as a separate entity, like your brokerage account or a demo account, for example. Let's just add a new account for demonstrating purposes. Simply click on the plus button to add a new account. First, add the name of your account, such as the name of your brokerage or any other you prefer. I will go with M7 metrics here. Next, you will input your account size. This helps M7 metrics accurately calculate your performance metric. Now let's talk about the risk management parameter. You can set how much 1R equals in percentage. For example, if you risk 0.5% of your equity per trade, simply input 0.5. If you risk 2% of your equity per trade, then input 2. You can also customize the appearance of your account by selecting a different color and font color as well. This makes it easy to distinguish between different accounts at a glance. Once your account is set up, you can access it and track its equity curve. This provides valuable insights into the performance of your account over time. Keep in mind, if you haven't journaled any trades linked to that account yet, the equity curve won't show any statistics. But don't worry, we will have an equity curve to look at as we move on with the videos. And there you have it. Setting up an account in M7 Metrics is a breeze, making it easy to organize and track your trading activity. Stay tuned as we continue our journey together.